So can I mm. ask you guys, you you gentlemen wrestlers, a couple of wrestling questions, and maybe uh, the people out there would like to hear what y'all think from a uh, wrestler's perspective on a couple of topics. Sure. Okay. CM Punk is hurt. What would you do with him next? Aubrey, you want to go first? I would uh, have him do commentary, maybe uh, be, be in someone's corner. I would still have him come out because he still draws. Because all, because all you got to do is pop up on a TV and see if Punk is next. Okay. He's like, he's like Hogan. He just come out and fart, and then and the ratings go up. So, I mean, I would still have him involved in something. Now, if you can't wrestle, then, I mean, you could find something else for him to do. He could do commentary, or he could he could be in someone's corner. Okay. That that seems like a logical uh, bit, I Mike. mean, that's definitely what to, uh, what they should do. Instead of just sending him home and, and fuck, dude. Because you got to make money. Because, I, I mean, they fucking wrote a big-ass check to him. Oh, that's true. Now, Mike... What do you think they should do with Phil? I don't think he needs to be in anybody's corner, like because his injury with his injury. I mean, I wouldn't even risk putting him out there in that capacity. But I no, definitely but not, think uh, not wrestling, just being like a like a an elaborate manager. I probably wouldn't go there. Um, but that's just me. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong or anything. I'm just, I think, I think he needs to sporadically maybe do some commentary, but um, just enough where you kind of get something out of him with his, while he's injured, because there are things I think he could do on commentary, especially related to, I mean, well, McIntyre is the one who quote unquote hurt him in that match. So, you know, he can kind of keep some things going with whatever, you know, getting back at McIntyre. Plus, you know, he's still kind of involved with Cody since Cody's the one who eliminated him. So, I mean, there are things I think he can say along the way uh, on commentary related to the guys he's been involved with uh, during his time here coming back. So I definitely would use him. I wouldn't overdo it, though, because I like I think if you overdo it, then you have a, you know, you're. I don't know, Cornette always used to always says that. um or used to, I don't know if he still says it, but he used to always say, you know, how can I miss you if you never go away? I think I think less is more with him on commentary, but but I definitely would would use him a little there. Yeah, okay, I would so definitely that's... do something where maybe I have him be a special guest referee for something how you down the line. He's got an injury. He can fucking go one, two, three, bro. All right, me and Hopper are on different wave, wavelengths when it comes to a, a freaking tricep injury. I don't want oh, him anywhere fucking... near. I don't want him in any type of physical activity. I don't want him managing anybody with a tricep injury. I think he if he's going to do anything, he's sitting on his ass. He's stand there. Like Harper, okay. Harper's, Harper's made a career out of not getting physical from him. Yeah, <laughs> for real, bro. I, I mean, what the fuck's Paul Heyman doing? Just staying there and fucking making a face. Oh, he's got a turkey goblet for a neck, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's fat. Oh, I feel bad Stop for Paul. I, Paul. I message you all the time and say, "Dude, I'm worried about Paul Heyman." It's a it's a Friday night at about seven fifteen occurrence. I get it. Okay, yeah. so here's the thing on this one. I, and I promise you guys out there listening that Mike has not listened to Corny this week. But Corny said the same thing you said, which is he, you gotta if he's Great. gonna go away and keep the draw, he's got to go away. So. So he wouldn't put him on. Now I'll have every Tom, Dick, and Harry online who listens to this and never listens to the show regularly I heard it, messaging me yeah. saying, Are you doing? You're just a parrot of cornet. Yeah. Okay, so let me take this in a different <sighs> direction. I have a different perspective that I want to run by you guys and see what you think here. And I'm this is serious, so I'm not trying to be an, a, a wise ass yet. That'll come in the review portion. I am looking at CM Punk like Tony Romo. And what I mean by that is when Romo's body started going, it it was a wrap. This is not Phil. Phil, what do we know the guy? (laughs) 
Oh, come on, Hopper. Why are you fucking got a guy duck mocking me right now? What the yeah, fuck, bro? Phil Brooks, remember him? That's Mel Brooks' brother. No. What? So, are you going to high school with him? So, <laughs> when that starts going, a lot of times it doesn't stop going. But what, but what Tony did was reinvent himself in the industry doing something else. And Tony so Romo, I, not Khan, by the way. True, I Romo. Yeah, you got to say the last name because yeah, it's on. a wrestling I podcast. Somebody's going to be like, what? To, I want people to think that I know these people personally. Okay. So then I think he should become a manager. Maybe he could lead Cody. Give Cody advice. I'm sorry. I'm going to help you beat Roman Reigns. And then he aligns with Paul at the end and turns on Cody. Hey, see? I don't know, but I just think that Phil Phil Brooks is a star. CM Punk is a star. But I'm wondering if this is like, what, the third injury, like real quick? What are we what are we hurrying him back to the ring to do? Get hurt again? But that doesn't mean that he doesn't have star written on him. I haven't given up on him yet in terms of the injuries, but Harper mentioned months ago about his injury history of, of recent. I mean, and it is true, bro. Your your body I mean, we all feel this. We're we're yeah, we're bro. in our late forties now and I saw and the way the, that Latrell was sleeping in bed last night all crooked up with his neck. I told Mrs. Doc, if I fell asleep like that, I would have woke up in the hospital. So one of the things I was at, I was at uh, my daughter's high school, their, their varsity. I wanted to tell you this, Doc, offline. You got to remind me. I was at their high school basketball game, not this past Friday, Friday before last. And I'm watching these kids, and this ties into what the punk's injuries. I'm watching these freaking athletes jesus lord these dudes running up and down his court all night my wife looks up a minute in and goes i'm exhausted just watching them and i'm watching and i'm going damn i remember when i used to be able to do that and dude and- i think of that every <laughs> time when i see, when i see things like in movies like forgot I, was, I forgot what i was watching a guy just kind of hopped over a fucking little bitty fence. I was like, if I did that now, I would be in a fucking hospital. Well, so, so I see a couple of kids, you know, take, take a couple of falls and like, you know, diving for the ball. I'm like, Oh my God, my body hurts. So what I'm thinking in that moment is, man, like just the thought of seeing a kid take a spill, whether I'm at a high school football game or high school basketball game, like my body winces because I'm like, if I fell like that, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hurt something. I might not tear or break, but something ain't gonna be right. And I'm and and CM Punk is not that much younger than me, and I, I'm not a fat slob who doesn't work out. Like you know, I, I I don't train to wrestle anymore, but I'm not a fat slob. And Doc ain't a fat slob either. He works out. You know, he does a lot of cardio. And and I'm like, so I think about. I, I'm starting to wonder, Harper said this several months back, like he's got to that age where it's like, you know, he's straight edge. He, he, you know, has always said he never put anything into his body in terms of, you know, performance enhancers and stuff like that. He hasn't, you know, he no drugs, alcohol, all that stuff. And I'm like, man, is he getting to the point? I'm not, I don't want to write him off yet, but is he getting to the point where, it, his body just can't take it anymore. I don't know if that's the case, but it's a question in my mind. And I, but, and, but I'm saying that saying I'm not giving up on him yet coming back to wrestle, but to the point you made doc, I definitely would want to see him. I don't know if in a manager role, but I definitely would want to see him in commentary because he can talk. He's always been a great talker. So I think that would be a, an easy transition for him somewhere down the line. But you could just work around it. Work around the, the injuries? Yeah, like, no, I'm saying like, hey, fuck it. Yeah, I know my knee's fucking 50 years old. Take it easy. You know? But it, 
I think he's the whole thing is built around being the best in the world, and I don't think he could do that. Well, just have him uh, wrestle. I mean, if there's a difference between like having the Undertaker used to do. Austin changed his style because he was about to die. Yeah, his knees were fucking destroyed. He got dropped on his head too. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't give up on him in the ring yet, but I, I am starting to like wonder, like, well, couldn't you see him as being like, I mean, what if he was a manager that was fucking over Heyman left and right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to book the territory. I mean, come on. But what I'm saying is, bunch of fucking marks. Right. <laughs> but I think I think he's interesting enough in enough different roles that if I were him, I'd start thinking about some things. Yeah, because he's cause he's fucking money, bro. He's money. He is. But I don't know that he can do it in the ring anymore. Yeah, I, and I, I definitely I agree. There's... I hope he can. I hope he can. I do. I do think there. I do think. Definitely like both of y'all. I think there's. He's money. There is a spot for him if and when the time comes that you know he definitely cannot go anymore in the ring and his in, in ring career is over. I'm not ready to cross that threshold yet and say that that's the okay. case. Right. Yeah. But I, I but I do. There yet. Right. Okay. Okay. That was my question for y'all. Now here's my next question. 